Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Jacobs here coming to you from my basement classroom. And the first thing we're going to talk about this school year, our first unit is going to be on hurricanes. And uh, it's a really neat time to be studying hurricanes because we have real uh, world examples that we can look at and more about that in a minute. The first thing I want to do is define a hurricane. So think in your mind, do you know what a hurricane is? And if you're in kindergarten or maybe first grade, maybe you're not so sure. Some of the older students, you remember, you know. But a hurricane, so I wrote on the chalkboard, a hurricane is a storm that forms over the ocean, okay? I want you to remember ocean, boys and girls, okay? Hurricanes have strong winds, thunderstorms. They have lots of rain, okay? And when they move onto land, they can cause trouble. Now, remember I said ocean, they're formed over oceans. So are there any oceans in Kentucky? Hmm. No, there's no oceans in Kentucky. So hurricanes, if they do make it this far, they typically, most of the time, do not cause us any trouble, just a lot of rain, maybe some wind, Every now and then, situation's a little different, but really generally nothing to worry about. So this is a fun kind of weather to study because we can learn a lot about how hurricanes form, what they do, and where they end up, okay? So a hurricane is a large storm, forms over the ocean, all right? Now, I'm going to flip my board over and show you a map. Okay, take a look at the map. All right, over here is Florida. This is the panhandle, the very end of Florida. And then going west, we have Alabama, Mississippi, then there's Louisiana, and then there's Texas, okay? Down here is an ocean. Anybody know the name of that ocean? It's the Gulf of Mexico, okay? Now I drew this little symbol here. This little symbol here happens to be a hurricane named Laura. Now, this is at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, August 26th. So, the storm is located right here, which is uh, 300 or so miles off of Louisiana, okay, in the Gulf of Mexico. And you'll see them in the papers or on the internet, on the news. They'll draw a symbol like this, and they'll have arrows to indicate that the storm is spinning because that's what hurricanes do, and we'll learn all about that as we go through this, okay? So this is today, Wednesday, Hurricane Laura, and I can tell you right now, the winds are 115 mph, miles per hour. Okay, 115 miles per hour. That's fast. A lot of wind. Okay. And it's moving at 15 miles per hour. That's how fast the storm is moving. Okay. Now, hurricanes don't move on their own. They don't have feet. They don't have legs. Okay. They are pushed by the atmosphere and by winds. Okay. So that is a way that scientists can kind of predict try to let people know where a hurricane may be going, okay? They can never be 100% correct, but usually we can look at the weather, the patterns and the winds and predict where this storm is going to go. Right now, Laura is predicted to move northwest this way. Okay, so this is Wednesday morning here. Uh, tomorrow when we check in, it's not going to be here. It's going to be somewhere else, more than likely. Texas and Louisiana. Texas, Louisiana, right there on the border. That's where we expect her, Laura, to land. Okay, 
Uh, when a hurricane goes over land, it's called landfall. And hurricanes are given names. This one is Laura. They start with the letter A and they go all the way, not through the alphabet because there's no X, Y, or Z named storms, but they'll go all the way till they get to X and then they'll start over. Hopefully we won't have that many, but this is uh, August, end of August, and we are already on L. So we've had a lot of named storms this year. Okay, so we are going to through the days, we're going to track this hurricane. Um, you'll be seeing it on the news. You'll be hearing about it from me. I'll be posting in the front lobby. I'll be putting this into your classrooms. There will be a little bit of reading. And the fun part is going to be to follow this because after it hits, makes its landfall, okay, there's no telling where it may go, but some people are predicting that it may go north and then make a turn back, okay, turn back to the east. If it goes far enough north before it turns east, well, we might get a little rain from Laura. I would say Friday night, Saturday morning at this point, but it could change. So we're going to be following along, studying this hurricane, seeing how it affects uh, the people who live down there. Hopefully it's just going to be a big rain and wind deal. But as we get into our reading and stuff, we'll learn all about it. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing for the next few days here in science. So uh, for this part right here, all you had to do was watch. If you want to turn on the news or look it up, uh, all you have to do is Google. And you put in Laura, and she's going to come up because it's a big hurricane. In fact, hurricanes, there's a scale that they rate them. Okay, one, category one is the lowest category five is the highest okay category five is a very very big storm that causes a lot of damage ones usually just rain wind stuff like that laura is already category three okay so she's big 115 mile an hour winds and still in the ocean okay the water in the ocean this time of year is warm okay hurricanes are formed from a cold air mass what's called low pressure so when the warm and the, the low the colder air start to mix that's what makes a hurricane form and spin okay and it starts to grow the longer it stays out over warm water the more energy it will get okay so this is the prediction the louisiana texas line where those two states meet that's the prediction where she will make landfall. That should happen probably overnight tonight, overnight Wednesday. So when we check in tomorrow, we're going to see if the prediction's correct or if she goes somewhere else. So I can tell you, of all the people that live on this Gulf Coast in Texas and Louisiana and Mississippi, even over here in Alabama and Florida, they're still keeping an eye on this because – Although we can predict, you can't ever really 100% know where a hurricane is going to make landfall, okay, until it happens. So it's really going to be neat and fun to watch, and I look forward to everybody uh, following along. Uh, this is for the whole school. At the end of this, I will be able to um, get some assessments and, you know, kindergarten's obviously going to look different than fifth grade, but it's basically just follow along read about hurricanes, learn about hurricanes, and hopefully one, maybe, uh, this weekend, you might get a little rain right here in Louisville from Laura. So it was great seeing everyone here, talking to everybody. You can uh, access this from the front lobby or your classroom whenever you uh, get time to do it. Thank you all, and I look forward to seeing you again in science.